Exactly. The, the, the common denominator in all of this is for a client to get fair hearing. And if this fair hearing cannot be guaranteed in this court, then we need to try another court. The Constitution is very clear on this. Section 36 made it very clear that he deserves, as of right, the adequate facility to prepare for his defense. And who prepares him for his defense? His defense counsel. But we're not being given the opportunity. The court did make some order. And the consequences of that order would have resulted in getting him adequately prepared. But most of those orders were disobeyed in their material particulars. For instance, we were not provided a clean room where no one will have listening devices to listen to our conversations. And our documents, legal documents we take to the DSS facility, detention facility, are interdicted and seized and taken to places, photocopies and whatnot. Even anybody who is not a lawyer knows that a client, especially a defendant who is facing the death penalty, deserves to have some private time with his lawyers in terms of preparing for his defense. It's not everything we discuss that is critical to his defense that the prosecution is supposed to know in advance. But this is exactly what was happening in this matter. And then secondly, we do have three appeals. One goes to restoring his bail, which the Supreme Court criticized, severely criticized revocation of his bail by this high court. And the other two go to the jurisdiction of the high court to try him for these offenses. So what is the really the, 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 what is really the essence of rushing to trial when you have these situations, these two situations militating against such trial? So we took that position and we tried to relay it to the Honorable Court, but the court was insisting in the face of all this, especially the injustice of not allowing him his constitutional right to fail here, and the court was insisting on proceeding to trial. That left our client with no choice than to express his loss of confidence in the impartiality of the court. That's what happened. That's why he requested for the judge to recuse herself. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sir, the Thank issue you. of uh, settling out of court, has that one uh, crumbled? Well, it's going on. It's more, not particularly an issue for the lawyers. It's particularly an issue for Southeast leaders and the federal government of Nigeria. And it's our understanding as a legal team that they are having discussions on that. But our job is to come here and practice law and protect the rights of our clients.